How much of your precious time do you devote to relevant others instead of yourself? Sometimes, looking to successful people for inspiration can actually cause the opposite effect. Because things can go in two ways. You can see them as examples, someone to look up to, or start making comparisons. And in that case, the conscious or unconscious conclusion that you often draw is they succeeded because they're winners. And I obviously don't have what it takes, so I must be a loser. But that is not true. We are all human beings and we are all made equal. So instead of looking at what others do and risk causing yourself a surge of negative feelings such as jealousy, envy, even hate, look at yourself, study yourself, find something that you did right in your past, something that you did and made someone else happy. Because so many times we ask ourselves, oh, what did I do wrong to be in this situation now? Ask yourself the right question instead. What went right? when I achieved something. When I asked myself this question, I made an eye-opening discovery. In my case, I discovered that every time I succeeded at something, it was for two main reasons only, belief and persistence. I truly believed, I convinced myself that I could do something and kept at it. Do you want examples? Do you need proof? Well, no problem. But in order to prove my point, we have to take a little trip overseas. Today, I am on top of the world. Well, not quite, but it sure feels like it, as I'm on the tallest peak that I could find in this part of the Alps. Let me tell you something. A few years ago, I was diagnosed with chronic tendonitis to my right Achilles. I spent months on crutches. I couldn't do anything that I loved anymore. I thought that life, as I knew it, was simply over. On top of that, I had problems with my back, with loss of height affecting three of my discs and one bulging and pressing on nerves and causing a number of issues. But it wasn't the end. I decided to believe that I could heal, that I could go back to normal and do much more than when I was 100% healthy. I sought help, I found the right people, and I worked a lot on my fitness. Nowadays, every year, I ride 250 kilometers around Port Phillip Bay in Victoria, Australia. I do half marathon charity runs, running faster than ever before in my life. And I also discovered a passion for climbing mountains. Don't be fooled by the snow, we're in the middle of summer over here. In fact, today I climbed to 4,049 meters or 13,284 feet. Back in the day, I could not walk 50 steps. <laughs> how can I describe this to you? How can I explain to you how beautiful it is and how amazing it feels to achieve what they once told me it was impossible. I am one of the very few human beings for miles and I have all of this almost just for myself. I shot some videos to share this beauty with all of you. Yes, I will shut up now and give you a moment to truly enjoy it.
trust me, there is so much more to learn from within you than outside of you. Why? Two main reasons. One, everyone is different. What works for others may not work for you. So taking someone's advice without a grain of salt may lead you completely off the way. Two, because ultimately, who's going to make something happen for yourself? You or someone else? Only you. Get to know you, not others. Notice how society today wants you to focus on everything else but yourself. Our attention gets incessantly directed towards pop stars, movie actors, um, sports people, politicians, freaking celebrities. I just want you to think about, for a moment, at all the time in a day that you spend watching TV, browsing social media, reading trashy magazines, or gossiping with your colleagues. Whether that's 30 minutes or four hours, I need you to realize that those minutes are precious, unrecoverable time of your life. That you devote to others instead of yourself. That you dedicate to facts and people of no importance, of no usefulness to you. Think about it. Are you still thinking or talking about things related to a so-called celebrity from a year ago? Of course not, that stuff is old, right? So if it's not important today, why would it have been then? Do you see my point? If instead, during the last year, you dedicated those, say, two hours a day you wasted after others to yourself to, for example, go to the gym, um, learn to play an instrument or reading books on a particular subject, what kind of person would you be today? You could be an athlete, a great performer, a very knowledgeable person, anything you wanted, really. Don't pay attention to others. Listen to yourself. If you want to do extraordinary things, you need to forget what normal is. Get to know yourself. Spend time with yourself. Work on yourself. You'll be a lot happier. Because in the end, you are the only person you're going to spend all your life with. Food for thought. Just food for thought. Okay, so it took me about seven hours to climb up to here and man, I am so tired. I mean, I'm completely naked. There's no way I can make it back. So I'm just gonna head down onto the glacier and MacGyver something up. So what I've done here is I just quickly built a sled and I'm going to go down. Now we are on a glacier here and the real risk is crevasses. So hopefully with the speed and everything I'll just be able to fly over them. So if you see this video, I made it. If you don't, well, follow me and follow me. On to the next. Ow, 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 ow,
Oh my ass, that was insane. Let's do it again. Well, I saved myself quite a bit of walking. <laughs> <laughs>